Hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Aaron Jones and I'll be teaching how to banner grab with Netcat. First thing you want to do is download Netcat from the internet. What you'll need to do is navigate to this file to this direct to this website right here. And once you've downloaded that file, you'll want to extract it by right clicking, click to extract files, and it'll come out as another file on your desktop. Once you have the files here, you want to create a new directory. So I create my new directory in the local disk in local C drive. And then did netcat and I just did a drag and drop over here and copied them. And once you have the files over and moved over to the new directory, what you'll need to do is create two new files. The first file will be a text file. So open Notepad. Once you open Notepad, you want to type in get get all in caps space forward slash space http forward slash one dot zero. Press enter twice down here and then hit save as text file make sure it's a document file hit save in that same directory with all the other files your next file will be a batch file so what you need to do is open a notepad again and then type in at echo off cls and then in c space tech v space the ip address you want to use as your target followed by the port and then your output file which will be that get dot text file that we're using to input inside there okay and then you want to save as drop down arrow click all files name it banner dot bat hit save and save that in the same directory as all your other files for netcat okay and then all you want to do it do is go to start cmd man prompt change directory to c netcat because that's where i put my files at and then I'm going to type banner. It'll run that batch script. And now it's finished. And as you can see, it picked up Metasploit from the virtual box that I'm running over here in the background. And it detected that port 80 is open. So it could be used as a port scanner if you really want to. It detected what the Apache version is running on it, the operating system type, Ubuntu. And it detected some more information such as when it was last modified, content link, connection type, and the all the content as well that's on that website. It works. So if you were to open your web browser and you were to navigate to that website, there it is. It says it works just like it did in here. And this works just the same way with Telnet. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So you type in Telnet, the IP address or the website followed by the port number 80 and it will do nothing right there so what you'll need to type is get get all caps space forward slash space http forward slash 1.0 press enter twice and there you go do the same exact thing that nick had to so that should be about it for this tutorial the next video we will be showing you how to search for exploits and once you've got gathered enough information on your target i hope this was very informative